Hi, welcome to Katie Do. I'm Katie. Today I want to tell you about something that I think is really fascinating, but also makes me quite jealous. Have you ever heard of ASMR? ASMR, or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is this tingly feeling that some people get up their necks and scalps. I wanted to talk to somebody who actually experiences this. So I did. Hey Jen, thanks for joining us. Absolutely, thank you for having me. It's my friend Jane Spain. <laughs> Before you knew it was called ASMR, what did you call it? Tingles or, tingles or um, like tickles. It is um, triggered in many different ways, often by whispering or soft tapping sounds or teachers like leaning down to help you with their work and that close proximity and soft language. And it creates the most fantastic, tingly, wonderful, relaxing sensation up your scalp. Jealous yet? Many ASMR folks reference lice checks in school as being particularly pleasurable for them. Lice checks, awesome. Lice checks are the best. <laughs> <laughs> I, used to, I used to go to the nurse's office as a child when I did not have lice and ask for lice checks. Lice checks got some kids high. It feels really good. <laughs> there haven't been any controlled studies on ASMR yet, so we don't really know what it is exactly or why some people get it and some people don't. I don't know anybody other than my brother who experiences it. So I'd always kind of propose it to friends, like, hey, when you were a child, did this ever feel like really tingly to you? These experience, and people are like, Nope. <laughs> well, thanks to the internet. Hi, internet. People have found each other and started creating whisper communities. There are YouTube videos geared specifically towards triggering the response. Many are role-playing videos with someone softly guiding you through a mundane experience like a massage or a haircut. Thank you so much for coming in today. I really appreciate your presence. Um, so you're here today to receive the allergy skin test. For people without ASMR or who have no idea what ASMR is, these videos can be super confusing or kind of creepy. But with people with ASMR, they can help relieve stress, anxiety, and insomnia. I want that. I turn to it often when I'm experiencing insomnia. So when, on those times where you wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you're like, I still have several more hours before I have to wake up. Um, I'll listen to a video. Um, you know, sometimes I fall asleep watching TV. Sometimes we have nothing on and I fall asleep with my boyfriend. Sometimes I fall asleep with ASMR. It's not something I use during the day, however, because um, it does make you really relaxed and it makes me ultimately, if it's a really good video, knock out. And often within just a few few minutes of it of it starting. So it's um I wouldn't I wouldn't day ASMR. So they're they're highly potent videos. They're very potent. <laughs> Some are stronger than others. <laughs> Who's your favorite ASMR artist? Thank you for asking the question. I have several. Um, ASMR requests is one of my favorite YouTube channels. I've never requested an ASMR. I would love just like a general like scalp health video. That would be really great. Let's check some of the best. <laughs> All right. Hear that ASMRs? <laughs> ASMR artists? Is that what you call them? ASMR I call artists? Them, I call them ASMR artists. ASMR artists. Yes. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> There's also somebody called Massage ASMR from Australia. His name is Dimitri and he does role plays as Dr. Dimitri that are really <laughs> fantastic. Um, and then there's a girl called Heather Feather that I enjoy enormously as well. And she's a little quirky and strange, but she seems to understand exactly where, <laughs> where to get you. So a lot of people call it brain orgasm. Is it yes. sexual? It is not sexual. Nothing is happening below the waist. Is it better than sex? <laughs> no, Charles. <laughs> is things. it better than masturbation? No vibrator. <laughs> Is it better than cake? Nothing is better than cake. <laughs> Good. Good to know. Okay, I'm glad we're on the same page. The way I conduct my tests are slightly different than typical allergists. I see you're on the verge of losing your shit. <laughs> I am. I'm allergic to soft noises. <laughs> Do ASMRers have a name for people who can't ASMR? Sad. They're sad. <laughs> um, no. They're like muggles. Uh, um, you're like muggles. You are. You are the muggles of the ASMR world. We are. We experience the magic. I'm not tingling yet. I'm just blushing. Okay. <laughs> Is that part of it? Is sex better than cake? Sex. Thank you so much for watching Katie Do. If you weren't the lucky few who experience ASMR, leave a message below and tell me who your favorite artist is. And also, what did you call it? Brain tingles? Have a great week. It's a tough call between sex and cake. I agree on that. I totally, it's a really tough choice. If you can have both, get both, honestly.